What's up, everybody? Welcome to the John W. Bricks Mental Health Foundation's 101024 Move Your Mental Health event. I'm Teddy Savage, and I'm going to be leading you through a dynamic workout that uses some household items to do great movements. That way, you can not only move your mental health, but get your chores done at the same time. And let me tell you, that's a two-for-one special. And who doesn't love a two-for-one special? So let's get moving. Now, the golden rule is this. Before any great workout, you got to start with a great dynamic warm-up just to get the blood flowing, okay? So put your fingers like this, elbows parallel to the floor, and then just twist, twist your body. Making sure that you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. We're going to go through four different exercises. We're going to do a work-to-rest ratio of 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of rest. Now give me some arm circles forward. Good. Breathe in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Our first exercise is going to be using our laundry basket, right? So go ahead and pick up that laundry basket. What we're going to do is a squat to rotation, right? So we're going to do a squat. Make sure that we stay back on our heels. And then do a good torso twist, pivoting on the opposite foot. Make sure you keep your shoulders back, your chest nice and pronounced, and your weight back on your heels. Now, as you can see, I got my laundry basket full of clothes but if you want to lessen some of that weight, go ahead and take some of those clothes out. We can always go back to them. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Twist it and put it down. Now, the next thing we got to do is we got to use our laundry detergent bottle to pour the detergent in after we've placed it in the washing machine. See how it's dynamic? So we'll pick up our laundry detergent bottle and do a couple of swings with it, okay? I want you to do 20 seconds with this arm, and then we'll do 20 seconds with the opposite arm. What I want you to do is focus on driving that bottle up to your shoulder height, not with your arm, but with your lower half and your core. Five seconds until we switch to the opposite side. Three, two, one. Now I'm switching to the opposite arm, facing the same direction, driving through my heels, keeping my shoulders, chest, and eyes forward and exhaling on effort. We got about five seconds. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, last rep, and relax. Go ahead and put that laundry detergent bottle down. And you're like, wow, hey, doing the laundry isn't just a chore these days. It's a great workout. This third one is a fold, right? But not folding the clothes just yet. It's a forward fold. Fingertips by your ears. You're going to hinge at the hip. And then come on back up. Come on in. 40 seconds starts right now. So let's hinge at the hip. I want you to act like you're closing an imaginary door with your backside, okay? You should feel this as a good dynamic stretch through the posterior chain. It's going to be your calves, your hamstrings, your glutes, even into that lower back. And you know when you do laundry, sometimes that lower back is tight. You're like, oh, baby, I mean, it might be fall the time. It's undefeated. But guess what? A good stretch is always the key. So we're going to hinge. Good. And come on right back up. We got about five seconds. Five, four, three, two. Last rep. Best rep. And up. Good job. Now, here's the thing. We did the fold, right? We had the laundry in. We used the detergent. Now we got to get the basket upstairs. So let's pick that basket up and do some basket high knees. Why not? Okay, so I got my basket. Again, if you don't have this, you can just do high knees in place. And we're just driving those knees up. I'm going to show you from the side, okay? So then that way you can see that I'm breaking the plane of my hips. So I'm really activating those hip flexors. Check out my posture. My chest is up. My shoulders are back. My eyes are forward, okay? This is very important because this is a front-loaded movement. And I'm driving those knees up because you got to step over items on the floor. And sometimes you can't look down because then you compromise your posture and put unnecessary stress and strain on the lower spine. So we're driving. We're thinking about, I'm so glad I've done that low. But I got good news for you. That's the rest. We got to do it again. We got to do it again, okay? Because anything nice, I always say, give it to me twice. Now, before we go back into that second circuit, let's think about a few things. One, when we exercise, not only is it benefiting our physical health, but our mental health as well, because we're releasing endorphins. And those give you a natural boost of energy. 
Who needs caffeine when you got endorphins, right? It also helps promote better sleep patterns. So you sleep better at night, you rest and recover, and your cognitive brain function goes up. So you're not going to forget those keys as much as you did before. Now, we're going to go back in. Remember, the first one is the basket squat and rotate. Pivot on the opposite foot by releasing the heel. Okay, here we go. You ready? Go ahead and grab that basket. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Tell yourself, I'm going to finish better than I started. And then show yourself that you can. Three, two, one. Let's drop it low. Squat. Good. And rotate. Remember, on that squat, stay flat on your heels. Mean your weight is back, right? So you don't want to have those knees come past your toes. And we're squatting and we're rotating. So we're really working internal and external stabilizers as well. I mean, like I said, two for one special. And who doesn't love that? You're working lower body, core, and upper body at the same time. Good job. And remember, if you want to lessen that weight, just take a couple of clothes out that basket. Good. Twist, chest up, shoulders back, eyes, chin, and shoulders. Move in synchrony and last rep. Put that basket down. Shake those legs out. And listen, when they start burn, just smile. And say, where you been all my life? Okay. So we did our laundry basket. But now, we got to get that detergent bottom. All right. Now, look. I got the big boy, okay? If you got a smaller one, good for you. All right. Here we go. Ready? We're going to do this one arm at a time. Making sure that we're hinging at the hip, flexing at the knee driving and moving this bottle with my total body and not just my arm. In five seconds, we'll switch. Now, one plus here, switch, is that this is also working my grip strength as well, right? And again, that's what dynamics are all about. We need all of these mechanics, all of this strength to be able to do what we need to do on a daily basis, not just when we go to the gym. Five, four, three. Two, last swing, best swing, oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey, come on up, come on up. If you're breathing heavy, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Bring those BPMs down just a bit. We got folds, okay? So remember, we're not folding clothes just yet. We're folding our body. Fingertips by your ears and hinge. Poke that backside back like you're closing an imaginary door and we're back up. Really good stretch, again, for the posterior chain muscles that are really important for posture, right? So if you feel like you go throughout your day and you're hunching forward and your lower back is getting tight, do a couple of good mornings is what this exercise is actually titled. But today, we're calling it Forward Folds on a Laundry Day. Because why not? Because why not be creative with your fitness? Why not have fun with your routine and just be the best version of yourself? We got about three more seconds. Three Two, one, and relax. Okay, now we got to go to our last one, and that's getting up the stairs with that basket. Make sure your posture is sound. Make sure your breathing is key, and make sure that you're breaking the plane of your hips or moving to your desired range of motion. All right, so I got my basket here. Let's march up those steps. Now, you can always pick up the pace if you wanted to, right? You could do a couple of jogs if you were really trying to get the laundry done before you had to head out somewhere. Or, again, take it a little bit slower, right? Understanding that your work equals your results. Don't try to keep up with anybody else, right? Feel good about just moving your body and knowing that doing so moves your mental health in a positive direction as well. You alleviate stress. You alleviate anxiety. You, you melt those worries away. And you just feel better, right? You feel better about yourself when you invest in yourself. Good. We got about five seconds. Five, four, three, Two, last one, best one, and relax. Outstanding job. Outstanding job. Now, we're just going to cool this bad boy down with a couple of static stretches just to get our bodies nice into a recovery phase. So then that way we can move throughout our day with less pain and impingement. So take that right hand, go across your body, breathe in, and out. Shake it out, shake it out. Opposite arm across your body, breathe in. And now, give me a good sweep down towards your heels and come back up. One better bit at a time. Last one down towards your heels and come back up. 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is your Move Your Mental Health 10 10 24 dynamic workout with me, Teddy Savage. And guess what? You didn't just work out, you also did the laundry. That's the two for one special. Believe in yourself, understand that what you do matters, and every movement you make makes your mental health that much better. I love you guys. Love yourself. Peace.